Hello everyone, this is the Southern Hellenic. I am back with another video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Greek god Apollo. Apollo is his Roman name, Apollo is his Greek name. And after this video, the next video that I'll be uploading is going to be the streaming, the streamed uh, uh, ritual to Apollo. I do not have, um, I do not have it written down. Uh, I am, at some, I am going to, at some point, write it down, and the reason that I didn't write it down is because when I do rituals, they are, they are pretty long. Um, I don't know how, I do not know how long uh, my streamed um, Apollo video is going to be, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take this table, and I'm going to position uh, the, um, position this this in front of it and that's how I'm going to uh, stream the ritual video and everything so I, I kind of want you guys to like see the see the altar and see me do the um, actual um, ritual so definitely stay tuned for that so so who is the god Apollo the god Apollo is the Greek god of light of music, a prophecy, of plague, of disease, and of many different other things. There's a lot of mythology around Apollo. Uh, one of them, of course, is um, when was it, um, the girl that he was chasing uh, got turned into a um, olive tree. Uh, which, of course, uh, a laurel, not olive, a laurel tree. and. It ended up becoming um, Apollo's uh, Apollo's sacred um, tree. So, when you got laurel um, wreaths on your head, that was um, that's connected to Apollo. Uh, Apollo was uh, Apollo once had the distinction of also being a shepherd god, but he handed it over to Hermes. So Hermes ended up becoming the um, shepherd uh, connected with herds and stuff, uh, all because Hermes decided to pull a trick on Apollo and steal his flock when he was a baby. It's kind of weird, like how can a baby do this? Well, it's because this baby happened to be a god, he was able to do it. So Apollo had many different oracles. Um, once again, these, once again, as I've mentioned, uh, in my video about um, Greek death rituals, the oracles that were very important to the Greeks, you'll notice that um, weirdly, weirdly, they're all not entirely destroyed. I, I think maybe an earthquake probably did it. But these temples definitely were targeted because the fact is that the oracles uh, gave prophecies and things like that. So um, you have this, um, you have these temples that were important um, back in the day. So, um, pr so probably out of all of the oracles that were around during the time, the Oracle of Delphi was the most important. And it had originally been a place people went prophecies back when it was under the control of Gaia. So in mythology, Apollo slays the Python and the python is connected with the goddess Gaia or G or Gi, is it G or G or Gi, and he takes over. And basically, a lot of people say it's um, the it's the masculine taking over and pushing the feminine out. But a lot of ancient Greeks did not see it that way. It's very, very, very troublesome when you have people that try to put a modern spin. Oh, you know, this is mess. This is like patriarchy and stuff. This is not how the ancient Greeks viewed things. And it's important to understand that and to keep modern um, interpretations of that particular event away. We have to see the scope of the ancient Greeks. Um, so yeah, so Apollo has made different uh, mythologies. Uh, he is also the uh, father of Asclepius, and during this time, especially with the coronavirus, you definitely are going to have like images of like Hygiena and Asclepius on people's altars because 
for a lot of people, uh, th this is probably probably the most important um, three figures to give offerings to is Hygiena, Apollo, and Asclepius. And I will actually do a video about Asclepius at some point in the future. Um, so, uh, all right. So uh, when I do the rituals, when I do the ritual, um, I will actually be telling you guys what um you know what his color candle is this is from uh hellenic uh polytheism uh it's a a book that came out a couple years ago um his you know what kind of offerings he likes uh, one of them of course is um laurel leaves because that's his that's his tree and um uh, i'll also tell you like what kind of incense to burn for him and this will all be covered in the ritual that I will be um, streaming uh, next. So anyways, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy. Uh, oh, let me stop for a second. Before. Also, any kind of divination tool is sacred to Apollo. So tarot, um, crystal, ball, pendulum, uh, stuff like that. So, all right. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, be blessed.